So if you're wondering on how to get a custom closure if you're playing MM2, so custom closure in MM2 is gonna give you a little bit better aim. So in this video, I'll be showing you how to get your custom closure and how to use it and make it work in your Roblox game. So don't forget to drop a like and subscribe and let's get right into the video. So everybody is gonna tell you if you want a custom closure, you should go to the website called Usa Skinner. Uh, this is a website that everybody's using to get a custom closure, but we're not gonna use this website for this video because if you are actually playing MM2, these closures are not gonna actually help you to get like a better aim or like aim better in MM2. So yeah, so all you have to do is join my Discord server, link it in the description, and uh, here under the MM2 category, go to the closures channel. And then, as you can see, scroll up, new custom closures for MM2 players. Here are more than 10 different custom closures for you. 10 different colors. You can choose the custom closures that you want. So, yeah. By the way, they're gonna appear big in, in here in the Discord, but they're actually small. Their size is the normal size of any custom closure. So, yeah, when you just download them and use them and put them in the folder, it's just gonna show up like a normal size custom closure. So, don't worry about it. Alright, so after you got the custom closures that you want to use, now I'll be showing you how to put it in Roblox folders so you can use it in game. Alright, so the first thing you need to do is go to the Roblox app and right click, and then click open file location, and then as you can see, click on content, and then textures, and then scroll down until you see the folder called closures, and then click on it, and then click on keyboard mouse. As you can see, these two cursors right here, arrow cursor and arrow far cursor, we need to delete them, so we put our custom cursors. So all you have to do is just delete this and delete this. Don't delete these cursors, just, we don't, just don't delete them, okay? Alright, now you need to get the custom cursors that you want and uh, copy it and put it in like the folder. Alright, now we need to name the custom cursor a specific name so it works. Alright, so the name of the cursors are in my Discord server in the cursors channel. As you can see, the main mouse cursor name is arrow far cursor and arrow cursor. So copy this one, control C, and then go back to the folder. As you can see, right click on the custom cursor and click on that icon right here called rename and then control V on your keyboard and then click enter. And then we're gonna get another custom closure and drag it in here and then go back to my discord server and you see the second name actually control c copy it and then go back to the folder and as you can see right click and then click on this icon and control v and as you can see click enter now your custom closure for your mouse is working i'm going to be showing you now how to put the custom closure for your shift log all right so if you want to get the custom closure for shift log just Go back to Roblox player, right click and then open file location, go to content and then go to textures. We just need to scroll down until we see a closure named mouse locked closure and delete it. And then get your custom closure that you want for shift lock. Me personally, I like to choose another color for my shift lock. So I'll choose the red one and then drag it in here. Go to my Discord server and you see the shift lock closure name is mouse lock closure. Control C on this, and then go back to the custom closure and right click and then click on this icon and then control V and click enter. As you can see guys, the custom closure is here and it looks so clean. And then when I click on my shift lock, as you can see, it's red. When I like when I move my mouse like this, it's blue. I would recommend you to use the custom closure color that matches your fit. I mean, I'm using the blue one because it matches that blue vault. I just use the red one because I like the color red. If you guys found this video helpful, if you did, make sure to drop a like, subscribe, and also stay in the Discord server because I do host game nights sometimes and also I do ping you when I post a video. So yeah, stay tuned and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next video. Peace out.